if we were standing in your physical shoes, an attitude that we would don and practice all day, every day. These are the things that we would be saying to ourselves about standing in this time-space reality that we are standing in. These are the things that we would say to put us in the place for the most joyful life experience that can be imagined at least from this point. Where I stand is perfect and evolving. And where you all stand is perfect and evolving. And I'm happy when we stand together in a place because as we bounce off of one another, I get clearer and clearer about what I want. I understand for sure that the only thing that is necessary for me to live happily ever after is to continue to define what I want and to believe that what I want can be. And as long as I have those two things in place, then there will be never-ending evidence that will show me the path of how to get from where I am to where I want to be. And I know for sure that when I get from where I am to where I think I want to be, that then something else will stretch out before me and there will be something else that I want. There will be someplace else I want to be. And if I've made peace with the fact that I'm standing in a place not yet where I want to be, but the fact that where I want to be is stretched out before me, that then there is satisfaction in where I stand because there is another eternal where I want to be. Now you're starting to make peace with what is. And in the moment that you finally make peace with what is, what is will begin showing you all of the components that you've been picking up along your physical trail that you want. You can make the world a better place by your standards, but it's your belief that you need to that keeps you from doing that. You can add to this world in a very positive way. But it's your concern about the things that aren't going well that keep you from doing that. And in all of that, there are just endless words that we could offer. You must be tired and want to leave this room because you've heard enough words over and over and over and over and over again. But what it all comes down to is, how do I feel right here, right now in this moment? Am I in resonance with the source within me or am I not? That really is what it all comes down to. If we were standing in your physical shoes, we'd be out there every day looking for things that we want to see. And we would be making lists of things that have not yet come into our experience. If we live in a house and the house is satisfying in some ways, we would be looking for ways that it could be improved. If we have conversations with some that are satisfying, we would be looking for ways that those conversations could be more satisfying. If we are satisfied with the way our children are responding to us, we would be looking for more ways that we could find more satisfaction in the way our children are responding to us. In other words, we would never stop reaching for more and we would never stop reaching for more on purpose. But along with reaching for more and reaching for more on purpose, we would be adding these powerful words and we would practice them until we know them. Everything is always working out for me. 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 Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Everything is working out for me. Things are always working out for me. And since things are always working out for me, and since I know that things are always working out for me, then what other things would I like to define that I would like to be working out for me? Since things are always working out for me, then I want to begin to apply my attention toward the things that I would like to be working out for me. I want to define more clearly what things I want to be working out for me. What things? Not nebulous things, not general things. What specific things would I like to be working out for me? What evidence, what would, really, what would really ring my bells? What kinds of things would really ring my bells? Well, I would like to have a confidence about me so that when I'm moving through traffic, I feel guided about where to go. I'd like to have good timing. I would like to feel that I'm riding on a cloud or, or a, a magic carpet of momentum. I would like to feel the universal forces working with me. I would like to look into the world and have a sense of who I am. I would like to have a full sense of who I am. I would really like to be so integrated with the fullness of who I am that I'm accepting this world in the fullness of all that it is. I would like to look into this world and I would like to appreciate the components that have 
that have been before that have led to what is right now. I would like to live in a constant state of appreciation. I would like to be an uplifter. I would like anyone who comes into contact with me to benefit as a result of our being together. I would like to not feel bad when that doesn't happen. I would like to be in a place where I'm not at my best, where I'm not even close to my best and not beat up on myself for not being at my best because I know that like the ocean, I have ebb and flow too. I would like to be completely accepting of myself and of everyone else. And I would like to trust in the law of attraction and the information that it gives to me. I want to be the being that I am born to be. I want to be in this physical body. And I want to be all that I was born to be. I want to have fun. And I want to have clarity. And I want to feel energy. And I want to feel good. And I want to wake up eager for the day. I want to sleep good. And I want to eat well. I want others to have that too. I'd like everyone to eat well. I'd like all the little kids to go to bed with a full belly. And I'd like them to know how good they are. I'd like that. I'd like children to know their value. I'd like them to know it soon. I'd like them to know it now. I'd like opportunities to help them know it. I'd like to move around with them. I'd like to think about them. I'd like to shine that light on them. I'd like to speculate about that. I'd like to pretend that. I'd like to imagine that. I'd like to soothe myself with that thought. I want people to feel good. I would like people to feel so good that they never feel like taking guns and killing each other. I'd like them to feel that good. I'd like them to feel so good. I'd like people to know the value of who they are. I'd like that. I'd like to be in a place where I can help people know the value of who they are. I'd like that. Don't want it to come all at once. Just one at a time. I'd like to tune into the frequency of who I am and spread the joy of who I am. I'd like to be consistently in my own joy. I'd like to be a catalyst to helping more people feel good. I'd like to be someone who's such a catalyst to helping fe people feel good that I don't even notice when they don't. I'd like to be so true to my vibrational frequency that anything that I want is flowing into me and anything that I don't want is flowing out of me. Understanding that there will always be contrast on the edge of what I'm living. Oh, that's it. I'd like to control my contrast better. I'd like to be better at inviting the contrast. I'd like the contrast to come in the form of a question to which I'm seeking an answer rather than in the form of a problem to which I'm needing a solution. I'd like the problems of the world to be distant enough from me that I'm able to see them in an objective sort of sense. I don't want to be swallowed up in the problems. I want to be on the periphery of the problems. I want to be out there on the edge of the problems, close enough that I can help to find the solution, but not so wrapped up in the problem that I'm lost in the problem. I want my cork to be near the surface all the time, if not bobbing on the surface, and never deep in the underbelly of the ocean. I want it to be up there where it's easy to move, but even when I'm in that state of what could be called depression, I want to know that even then it's okay. Helps on the way. I want to know the source energy is always flowing to me and through me. Always flowing to me and through me. Available at all times. And I want to feel all right about not being in the vibrational vicinity of it. I love knowing that source loves me at all times, even when I'm not in the vibrational vicinity. I like knowing that that gaze is never taken from me. I like knowing that pure positive energy has its gaze upon me at all times. I like knowing that source is keeping source's promise to me. And it is my intention to start right now keeping my promise to myself more of the time. I'm going to have way more fun. I'm going to look for more reasons to feel good. I'm going to take good care of me. I'm going to serve myself first and foremost. I'm going to tend to my vortex and then I'm going to do anything else I have time for. Well, I say I'm going to do that. I'm probably not going to do that. But it's going to be more all right with me when I don't do that. It's going to be all right with me more when I don't do that. I'm not going to set standards for myself that I can't keep. But I'm going to do my best to feel good more of the time. We have enjoyed this interaction more than words can explain. You are powerful creators, and this has been a powerful group of minds that has come together. We are appreciating your willingness, not just to be in this room, but to be in this life. Not to be in this life, but to be in this world, to be in this universe, to be part of this creative experience of moving forward. It is our desire, and it is our knowing, that today, you've come into closer alignment than you've ever been with who you really are. And we revel in that knowing, whether you know it or not, 
And we anticipate your discovery of the evidence of our knowing in the hours and the days that are before you. There is great love here for you. And as always, we remain. Let's see, where are we? <laughs> in the vortex, in your grid, 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 in the vortex, in your mind, in the vortex, in your mind, in the vortex, in your actions, in the vortex, in your behavior, in the vortex, in your inspiration, in the vortex, in complete and utter appreciation of the life that you breathe into all that is. There is great love here for you. We are complete.